So let's talk about what's quantum jumping, okay? And how can you do it? How can you do it now? And anyone, anyone can do it. Quantum physics talk about how there are infinite realities, infinite potentialities existing at this very moment and at this very precise location. Um, every scenario you can think of has infinite possibilities. Every situation you know, has infinite potentialities. And my question to you is, if you can choose your reality, you can choose your one out of gazillion potentials, what would you choose? What would be the reality that you choose? And what, what does it mean to choose? Okay. God has given every human being a right to choose. What does it mean? What does that mean? Uh, what do I choose? It means that how do, you, how do you create your reality? We all agree that we are creating our realities. You know, if you, if you read um, you know, the positive thinking or, you know, if you start to manifest you will, you will all agree that we are creators. But what does that mean? How are we creating? We are creating by thought, action, and some feeling. Okay, But thought and action is something that you can do right away. Okay, And so what does that mean? Okay, Everything you think about is creation is creating. Every time you think or act, you are creating. So, if you do not like this reality, but yet you talk endlessly about this reality, you talk about how this reality is oppression, suppression, you talk endlessly. Okay, it's one thing to understand that this is where we are. But it's another thing to try to feed it more than it's necessary. And so to use the energy of your creation to something more productive, what do you want to create? Instead of saying, okay, we don't like this reality, okay, and these people are, are using us and they're hurting us and then they're, they're eating us, okay. Instead of saying that we're uh, victims, and you say, yes, it's true, it's true, yes, okay. It's true. We are not going to argue with you to deny you or to agree with you whether your reality of that is true or not. There's definitely a lot of proof. But what I'm saying to you is that how important is that? When you've got the power to create and you are not using it, rather you're using it to discuss about the things you do not wish to be a part of your creation. You're like, okay, but this is what we got right now, and this is what we don't like. We don't like these, we don't like this, we don't like that. And let's discuss more about the things we don't like. Right? You can choose that. But let's not forget that we have the right to choose. We have the right, every time we think about something, that we are choosing that which we think about. And so if that's not the reality in which you wish to be in, then that's not the reality in which you need to start to mentally discuss it or mentally think and ponder it. Because you are bringing that energy into your reality. And if you don't choose it, then mean it by your thoughts. By your actions. What would you want? You can create. You, you're, you're a creator. What do you want?
Okay? That's more interesting. That's more exciting. Okay, so we got this current place where we are and we don't like it. So why with all this information popping up now about, um, okay, we got all these people and the, and the authority figures that uh, are suppressing us and what's with the deal with all this? There's certain um, intelligence that want to persist in its own existence. Even thoughts want to persist. It, even thoughts are alive. Thoughts have its own intention, its own entity, its own life force. And it, it wants to keep living. And things that don't have form, they also want to persist. And they want to, perhaps they want to have uh, form like us and so they need your they need your energy they need your thought pattern they need you to bring them into existence by your creative powers humans are able to create they're able to create by thinking and by action there are other creations in the world that can't do that. And they're dependent on the human beings to do that. And thus they need. They need us to think the way they think. Or we need to think a certain way. We need to think that this is our reality and we need to discuss this as our reality. Because without that, they cannot exist. So, there's a lot, even as we're discussing it, you know. So, awareness of what are you doing? What are you thinking? Is this what you want? Okay, that's what I asked myself. I started to spend an hour and a half thinking how, well, my boyfriend and I will, you know, call it quits. And then, am I willing for him to find somebody else, you know? Am I willing to accept that as a reality or am I willing to take that? Um, and I thought about that for an hour and a half. Um, and after the hour and a half, I was really down and really, I, f I felt really sad. You know, wh why? Why? Is this what I want? Is this what I really want? And it isn't. But I spent an hour and a half thinking about what I'm going to do when the time comes and if I have to do this or that. Well, I'm actually creating as I'm thinking. So I realized that this is not what I want. It's not what I want to create. And after that realization, I was back to happy again. In a, in a matter of two minutes, it's not what I want to create. And why did I spend an hour and a half thinking about the scenario in my head if this is not what I intend. Thinking about, oh, what's going to happen in the future? Or what? how do I need to, you know, face this? How do I need to react to this? And um, so that's what we do as humans. We, we think about a lot of things that we don't want in our life. And those things are actually what they call like sucking energy. Those energies are being sucked away from you. Those are not being used to create what you want. You know. So. There are 
there is no world to be saved. There are no people out there that need you to save them. There is just you sent here by God to live fully, create, and love. Just love, creation. I mean, that's part of love. Creating. That's all. And once you do that, the world is automatically saved. Because we are all, all geniuses. We all came here fully knowing we don't need to be taught. We have everything we possibly need. Within us. So, that is the purpose. There's no other purpose. We do not need to save this earth. The earth does not need saving. That is a reality in which we create. The earth is very intelligent. The earth does not need us to save it. Because we are not creating that reality in which the earth needs to be saved. Excuse me, if you had to choose, choose one that you prefer and not one that somebody threw on you. Take your power back. That's the truth. Everything we look out into is an illusion. Why do they say illusion is illusion said for purposely, you know? It's because it changes. It changes. Why does it change according to our creative thought pattern? So create the things you want. 